welcome to the first video in a series of videos that I'm going to be doing um, about Halo, specifically Halo Custom Edition, and actually porting that into Unity. Um, hopefully we're going to try and use the Unity Universal Ritter Pipeline. So if you're not familiar, that's a nice uh, Ritter Pipeline that's scriptable, so something new that Unity has added in the last couple versions. Uh, so to get started, I wanted everyone to figure out how to set up their environment in order to actually port Halo CE content over to Unity. Uh, and so what that involves is actually extracting uh, data from the Halo CE game and importing that into 3D software that you can then export into something that Unity can understand. So uh, I have this a little list here. Uh, here's some prerequisites. So obviously you have to have the Halo PC installed. Um, there's actually a product key and, and I'll have all the links. Uh, I'll post that in the description later. But um, so yeah, so you'll have so I've got uh, this little list here of prerequisites that you'll need. So you'll need Halo installed, um, and you can find the links for all these things in the description below. So you have to have Halo installed before you can install Halo CE, I believe. So install Halo. I've got it already installed right here. And then you actually want to install Halo CE, which you can find Halo CE, the Halo editing kit, and several nice tools on this awesome site called halomaps.org. Um, so you go to Halo Maps, open up the Halo CE Maps section. Um, you can find all these custom maps that people have built over the years. Uh, but specifically, you want to look at this Halo Utilities section. And there's all kinds of tools that could be used to, uh, to import and export different meshes and models and tags and everything else. So a little background. Uh, I actually have some of my own content on here that I've made when I was quite a bit younger. Uh, so... I was actually a modder for Halo CE back in, I guess it was 2005 through 2008 or so. Uh, so for several years, I modeled environments, weapons, vehicles. I tried to do some animations um, and I got pretty good at doing some things. So I actually got sort of recruited by some of the teams um, like the CMT, CMT team, custom mapping team. And they still actually create content, but for them, I created like this battle rifle and the Spartan laser, uh, the Sparrowhawk. So I actually modeled these, uh, UV unwrapped them, created the textures. Um, and then for like Lumoria, so that's another single player game. I, I didn't create this for them, but I created this and, and let them use it in their game. So yeah, I've spent several years um, building out a bunch of content. A lot of it never actually made it into the game. Uh, that's just kind of how things are, especially when you're young and you don't really have any goals. You're just kind of building things just to build them. Um, so yeah, so I actually have some things on that I've, I've built and they're actually in some of the maps and in some of that stuff. Uh, so it's pretty cool to see this site is still up and running. Um, and here's where you can grab a bunch of utilities. For us, we just need the uh, Halo CE installation, which is at Halo Maps, the Halo Editing Kit, um, you want to download Heck Plus, and you also want to get something called Blue Streak. And so it is a Halo Maps, but uh, specifically it's Project Blue Streak by the Ghost. And this is this is key. This is what you really need in order to import meshes and textures, and um, all that data has to be exported from Halo CE into some format that you can use in other applications. So in our case, uh, we actually need this GBX model importer. And so you can read this whole description if you want. I'm not going to go through all of it, but essentially allows you to import all the mesh data and all the nodes, the uh, skeletons for animations with skin modifiers. So it's really great, uh, great work by the ghost. This is several years ago too. And then the animation importer. So being able to import the animations directly from Halo CE itself. Uh, so that way you can have all the content, the textures, animated, all, all of that jazz. So you want to download these two importers, uh, and they are for 3ds Max. So one thing I put in the prerequisites is that you're going to want 3ds Max 6 or higher. 
um, you're going to need this. You can use GMAX, which is another, uh, which is like an open source, not open source, but a free 3D modeling program. But it was, it was written like they stopped supporting it, so it was free, um, and now you can't even really use it. So if you try to use GMAX, the problem is you're not going to be able to export it into a format that Unity can understand. So. Once you get everything installed, so you have Halo installed, Halo CE, you installed the Halo Editing Kit, you've went to halomaps.org and downloaded Halo, Halo Editing Kit Plus, or HEC Plus. You've downloaded the Blue Streak uh, importer scripts for 3ds Max. You're pretty much ready to go. Um, and just I'll just walk you quickly walk you through kind of what this looks like. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to first, I just have the main things I'm going to be using here. So I have this Halo Editing Kit Plus batch bitmap extractor, BSP tag converter. And I don't think those are on the list, but I will go ahead and add those and I'll have the links in the description later. So uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is, you have everything installed, let's open up Halo Edit Kit Plus. Oh yes, damn. That's, that's a doozy right there. Uh, application generated, blah, blah, blah. So we're just gonna click cancel, uh, nope. Don't worry about that. So if you're under this error, um, what you need to do is actually right click this, go to properties, compatibility. We're gonna run this with Windows XP. Yeah, yeah, XP, I mean, this is an old game, but hey, it is what it is. And just for shits and giggles, we'll run it as an admin, just in case. So now we've done that, we say yes. Boom, wow, look at that. That's real nice right there. All right, so now we need to open a map. So in order to extract tags from a map, we have to open it up. Uh, so he says it's looking for Halo map cache files. Um, so if you've installed it into the normal directory when you're installing Halo Custom Edition, it'll be right here. So C program files, Microsoft games, Halo Custom Edition, blah, 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 blah. So we'll just go there and you can take a look at all of those maps. Microsoft games. Nice, uh, some maps. So you can see here, I have a bunch of maps. So I've actually downloaded several custom maps from halomaps.org. And I am specifically going to look at doing Bud, Bud Gulch. Everyone knows Bud Gulch. Um, so it makes it really easy. That would probably be the first map I actually poured over to, uh, to Unity. So I do want to start off with the map itself. So we're going to go into levels. Uh, well, let's take a look at this whole thing actually while we're here. So the Bud Gulch map has all of these folders that kind of lay out the structure of all the files for the game. So uh, if you go into weapons, for example, assault rifle, this is actually, these are called tags. And so all these tags contain information that actually build the assault rifle in the game. So all the behaviors that it has and such, and bitmaps and first person, so that'd be FPS first person animations a different model, so it's maybe more detailed in first person. Um, but let's do this. So let's just take this assault rifle here. Right click, we'll say extract to. Um, so I'm gonna extract to tutorials, Halo CE rips. Sounds good. Junior, blah, 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 it's all good. All right, so you see it's working down here, it's doing some stuff. All right, I have just extracted that. So now if I go to my rips folder, nice, so I have weapons. Assault rifle. All right, I have these files, but what the hell do I do with this like GBX model, right? So this is where the Mac scripts come into play. So going back to our tools, we've downloaded some things. We have the, um, where is it at the importer? The GBX model importer. Okay, great, so that's a Mac script. So we'll pop over here into 3ds Max and what we're gonna do is go over here to this little setup looking thing, click Mac script, run the script. We are actually going, um, let's see if we can get back to that LCE tools. And we want the GBX model importer. So double click that, that looks good. So load GBX model. Um, we don't have anything there, but we do in the rips. So weapons, assault rifle, there it is, so it says GBX model, click that. Uh, you can leave all these things the same for now. Click 
quick little, oh, whoops, I already did that. Uh, import, so importing the model. And boom, there you go. Now it's imported into 3ds Max. Uh, you notice all these little things right here. You're probably like, what the hell is that? Uh, so actually, if you take a look at the hierarchy here, these nodes are actually used in game. So this is like for, the, oh, so it says smoke, right? This is probably for the, so that yeah, the, so the smoke, the uh, the primary trigger node, that node is, is so you can display, um, what's it called, like the, the gun firing and all that. There's probably flashlights down here, secondary trigger, flashlight. This is where the hand's gonna go, so um, another hand point, I think. Frame display. So they have all these these components that help the game um, actually work and add behavior to this model. But if we just hide uh, a lot of this stuff, actually, let's see, this is just the model, I believe. Yep. So this is just the assault rifle model, which is pretty cool. Uh, and so that's it, really. So that's importing just a, a simple model from Halo. So let's walk back through that again. We installed everything. We installed Halo. We installed Halo CE. We installed Halo Editing Kit Plus. Um, and then we just opened up one of the map files, in this case, Blood Gulch. And we exported the assault rifle. So we could technically just go to this Blood Gulch map and export every single one of these. So we could grab... Um, you know all the characters I'll just say okay and you'll see like it's gonna take a while because it has to grab everything um, but we definitely want the characters we want uh, we want the vehicles that should take a while because there's several of those files so I, I encourage you to do all go ahead and do all of this like export as much as you can um, because we will be using all of this stuff to rebuild blood gulch inside of unity so vehicles weapons Let's export all of them. Uh, there'll be some things that we really can't uh, can't do from Halo Editing Kit Plus, and we'll get into some of that later. Yeah, we got levels, blood gulch, sky, wind, scenario, scenario structure, BSP. Yep, these are going to be needed in order to extract um, the geometry for the level itself. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, in the next video, we'll try and pull over the level geometry and uh, pull a couple of things into 3ds Max, import um, the assault rifle, import the level geometry, and maybe we'll import the, the character model as well, so the cyborg, or as you know, the Master Chief. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I hope this was helpful to help, you know, for you to get your environment set up. Um, as I said, I'll have the links down below in the description, so feel free to leave some comments if you have any questions or run into any issues, and I'll try and help you out if I can. Thanks, guys.